What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Back to Ravenous Devils. Where are we? Day 7. Go! Business as usual. So the shop's not open. Some meals to place here. Yes, you do. I forgot how to play. Make the shirts! Bake some pies! More meat! Chop, chop, as they say. Grab the tray. Let's cook it. We're gonna make some nice, nice steak. Because you can see our jobs are at stake. <laughs> okay, kind of at stake. Gotta make some more steak. Okay, time to open the shop. Ready? Open. That was a weird thing I did. Alright, welcome the customers again, you know, like normal. Oh, actually, yeah, hide behind the door. Okay, while we're waiting, go cook. Go cook. You're getting fitted! Now you're getting deaded! You died! Clean up the blood! Oh, hello! Mr. Stevenson, thanks for coming in. Goodbye. You put the shirt up. Grab this shirt. Put it on this mannequin. Oh, almost stepped on the guy's head. This is a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. Thank you, sir, for waiting. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. There you freaking go. Eat. Can we hire some people? We need to hire some people. All right, we need an application. Uh, we'll make an application of uh, $9 an hour. Is that, is that too little? No, that's probably too much. I don't know, it depends on what time we're, era we're in. Grab the plates! Uh, job application, um, let's see. What requirements would you need for that? Uh, must be good with a knife? Um, must be good with people? I think it's good enough for our checklist, right? Clean up the blood. We made $30. You've got mail. Uh, my dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in the previous letter, I've been observing your steps for a long time, and to be honest, you're, you intrigued me even before arriving here at the Hither Blue Lake. When it comes to food, there's no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in the Mercy, Mercy side where you made a lot of money. Uh, unfortunately, something went wrong at some point along the way. The low competition, uh-huh. Talk about our previous shop being turned to rubble. Well, that's not good. Wearing their owner's clothes. Uh oh, they thought they were dead, but I suppose the time all this is happening, you had already boarded your train. Really, I must confess that I almost fell for it too. Later, a mysterious couple priding themselves on offering the best meat pies in town opened up a new shop in South Oak. Many of my friends had said that you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady. A beautiful woman. It could have been just one big coincidence. Two different couples in two different places, and there would have been nothing odd about any of it, but something didn't quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop in South Oak closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry with very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? <gasps> I hope not. And here we are, now at Hither Blue Lake. The same story, a foreign couple looking delicious, cooking delicious food. In my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear, once and for all, and as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all the customers who entered your shop also left. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it is hard to find high quality meat these days. So, we're being praised, is what it means, right? Right. Let's buy a ficus! Ficus! Let's prepare for tomorrow. Okay, time to open shop, I think we're ready. She's baking some more, just to have it ready. Open shop! Look at myself in the mirror, be like, man, my hair looks good. Check out. Oh, there's the plant that we bought right here. It looks great. People are like, yo, I want that. Oh, hello, Clive. Goodbye, Clive. Been made. That's <gasps> the body. I almost forgot about the body. That would have been so awkward if someone walked back here. 
Gotta keep up with demand! Everybody wants clothes. Everybody wants food. Everybody just needs something. All right, let me get this set up and I'll be right with you. Okay, that's going. Hello, thanks for coming in. Now die. We got plenty of food, which we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The body is not fine. That's the whole point. It's how we stay in business, you know? You gotta do the things you have to do to survive. And the way we survive is by killing the ones that are here to be fitted for a suit, yet... We know what I'm trying to say. As the saying goes, live and let live. Except we're not letting most of them live. At all. Like, they are dead. Like, super dead. Super dead! I is done. I gotta wait. It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait here for me. You wait for me here. It's the same thing, right? They would try to run away. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do the voice I did the last time, but alright, Mr. Elliot, I'll wait here for you. I'm gonna, like, try to do voices in the game. <laughs> He's sharpening his scissors. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Percival. Please take your place in front of the mirror. I like people who don't waste my time. leaving in a few days, my friend. This time I'm heading to a dangerous place full of wild beasts. I will need my best rifle. They could pounce on me before I even notice. Ravenous and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over my fireplace, though. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes. Yes, I understand. I always used to hunt for a living. But I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps. Like flies in a spiderweb. And then stab them to death. I would have never guessed. I thought you had always worked as a tailor. This is something that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such for long in this city. By the way, maybe you happen to know someone who goes by the moniker of Mr. J. Since you are such a well-known figure in town. That's an obvious question. My reputation precedes me wherever I go. Of course I know some people whose name starts with a J. The list would run many pages. Think about it. Someone who hates you. Or who don't get along with. I'm a beloved person, Percival. You're bothering me with this story. Might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense. It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you annoying as hell. <gasps> oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, sh... Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! It's really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. This so-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. Now I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. A cold one. Oh my god. This is the coldest room in the house. The flesh will be better preserved here. Oh my god. Ooh! Honey, we're gonna be eating good tonight! What are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside, but I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there, and I was rather hungry. Then, the good lady gave me a pie. It was really delicious, but I don't have any money on me. So, um, I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. Has he left the shop already? Yes, several minutes ago. Oh, really? Did he mention anything about where he was going? I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he'll come back to get you, kid. And don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back, though. I'm probably angry because I disobeyed him. He bought me, and I, I can be replaced any time. Well then, find yourself another job. You won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I'll think about it, kid. 
I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. What? Pilgrim may need a little help in the pub. What? That was wild. Guys, thank you so much for being here again and watching this with me. This has been a really fun experience. I am loving this game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again next time. Like and subscribe. Bye!